Hello and welcome to another edition of Crypto with Chingas. My name is Chingas and in these next coming episodes, we are, are doing interviews from the Texas Bitcoin Conference 2018. In this edition, we are talking to Michael Beam. He's the core developer at Factum. Now, Factum is a company that has created a data layer on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. Their uh, overall goal is to eliminate paper, paper records, paperwork completely. Everything will be validated, everything will be unalterable, uh, everything will be verified on the blockchain. They've already secured deals with the Homeland Security and uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They're, they're doing a lot of work. They've been around since 2014. Let me be very clear, this is not a review. Um, so let's be very clear about that. Let's take a look real quick at their site before we move on to the video. You can get all their information here. They wanted me to let you know, factum.com. You can go ahead and research that to your heart's content. Take a look at the products, the solutions, the company, the blockchain, and it is open source. So there is all of their information right here on GitHub. That's something that you can take a look at and uh, peruse at your own will. Let's roll the tape. I'll be back with you when it's done. So uh, I'm here with uh, Michael Beam. He's uh, from Factum. He's going to let you know a little bit about you know who you are, what you do, um, and what you represent for the cryptocurrency world. So Factum is a sort of data agnostic um, validation layer built on our own blockchain. Uh, the purpose of Factum is to is to secure any kind of document record keeping or uh, or business process over time. Right. Our, our main focuses are in the American mortgage industry, in uh, blockchain as a service offerings around the world. We also have worked with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to uh, to offer security for the medical records uh, okay, in Africa. Yep. Excellent. And we've worked with the Department of Homeland Security on securing uh, images they've taken with their border cameras to. Uh, basically add increased security and the ability to cryptographically prove that they're being honest with the data they're getting in through their okay. system. Um, now, and that's, that's great, and that's just the start. So with yeah. Factum Harmony sort of uh, focused on the mortgage industry, like we were talking about earlier, I mean, this, this is, as far as the eye can see, any time there's a document and it just needs any sort of validity to it, you're right there. I and mean, Factum can handle all of that. Yes, uh, Factum can be used for uh, any kind of digital documents, any kind of digital process can be represented within the data structures uh, within the Factum network. You can create your own data structures of your own blockchains with their own entries, and you can link between multiple chains by simply writing uh, hashes and chain IDs okay. into entries into other chains. Uh, our enterprise grade software, we've uh, just, we're in the process of releasing our new Factum Connect software, which is our enterprise grade um, document management system where you okay. can simply get on, begin using the API right away, and write documents and cryptographic validation into Factum. One of our main goals in Factum is making it very, very easy for enterprises and uh, open source projects to okay. start using blockchain. Okay. Whereas with um, things like Ethereum, smart contracts, and other cryptocurrencies, there's usually a very high barrier to entry. You might have to recreate part or a whole of your process in a smart contract. You have to find programmers that know how to do it. You have to work in a whole new paradigm. Whereas using Factum for validation on the blockchain can be done with very simple API calls to a running daemon on the system. And now Factum on the enterprise version of it, it's everything is done for you. Yes. Right? The, as, as a client, if I buy into it, it's wrapped up and it's ready to go. Yes. The, okay. the open source software that runs the, the blockchain and the network uh, can be used by anyone with with the only restrictions are that of the MIT license, which is one of the most permissive uh, open source licenses. Okay. The enterprise grade software is a fully managed software where you can use just a traditional software as a service model. You pay a monthly fee, you get a API token, and you begin using the API to create okay. entries and chains in Factum with 
You don't have to run any of your own software or manage any of your own tokens, credits, or, or, right, or anything right. but an and, API. And I think that's brilliant. I, th I think that's something that'll definitely be geared towards the enterprise. Um, those types of large businesses that aren't going to want to have to deal with anything more than just saying, give me something that works that's better than what I already have. Yeah, like I said, one of our biggest design goals is making it very, very easy to get into using the blockchain. You don't have to write a whole computer program in a whole new language you none of right, your developers right, right. knew about before a year ago. You simply make an API call, you create very relatively simple data structures, you create chains and entries, and you can use those that, that flexibility to to whatever effect you need in your application. Okay. Your data can remain as private as you want it to. You can write nothing but validation information. Right, right, you right. could, Or you could write large amounts of metadata and process things directly off the blockchain and allow you to work with other parties in a trusted way where anything you say can't be taken back after the fact. Right, well again, going back to the uh, mortgage demonstration, what we were talking about earlier, once that paperwork is signed and on the chain, no one's changing it. It simply can't be changed. Uh, but uh, like we talked about with the example where, let's say somebody died and the mortgage mm -hmm. didn't need to be updated, all of that is fine as long as it's all validated. Right, of course. Any, any kind of document uh, represented either in a mortgage or a medical record, a document is really not just a single thing in a single point in time. It's really more like a a timeline of events. The document was in this state at this time, some change was made to it, and right, then it was in right. this state. So this is something that can be easily represented in a factum chain, and you can look at the history of your document, and you can trace through that history and show all of the valid steps that produce the final state of the right, document, right. and you now have a, a provable history of the document. Any invalid steps, steps that weren't recorded properly or weren't signed properly, can be safely ignored or flagged or whatever your application needs to do with okay. that information. That sounds great. Uh, is there anything else you want anybody to know about Factum, where they can reach you, where they can find you? Um, you can, of course, you can visit Factum.com, which is the website uh, owned by the, the Factum Inc., which produces the, um, the corporate level software. Okay. Yep. And, uh, of course, you can also go and look into the Factum uh, open source community and you can dig as deep as you want into the details right. of how the protocol work and how the community And I think that's works. very important. Um, you are on GitHub, right, as a repository, so all of that code is there. It's available. You can look at it. You can research it. And yes, the, the core it. software is uh, MIT licensed software, okay. and, uh, and we... We provide it open source. It is uh, the back end that we use in all of our um, enterprise uh, solutions, and it's used by several other projects. At this conference today, there were several other projects we heard from that are building their own applications on top of the Factum protocol. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Well, I can't thank you enough for your time. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, uh, very it's glad a very to be interesting here. project that has, uh, has really good potential. Um, I want to see where it's going to be in a year or two. Uh, I want to see, like you said, I want to see it replace paper. Yeah. I think uh, I think that's amazing for everybody. In, in the long-term goal, the purpose of Factum is we can, we can replace paper as the method of securing documents in the world. We can truly and finally digitize documents in a way that where they can't be altered and they can be, right. they can be trusted and, and cryptographically proven to be to be valid and unchanged right. from there. I love it, man. Sounds really good. Thanks again. Man, it's so good. All right, and thank you for watching that. Uh, I am back. That was my conversation I had with Michael Beam, core developer over at Factum. Very interesting project. Keep your eyes on that one. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we got more interviews coming down the road. I believe there's eight more after this one. So hang tight. I will get them out to you guys. All right. So I will see you guys on the exchanges. Until then, happy trading.